The textile industry needed a test to detect the performance of the soil release finishes. The test for judging how well a finish performed was developed by AATCC's Committee on Stain Resistance. It's called RA56 Test Method 118, Oil Repellency, Hydrocarbon Resistance. It has been edited and reaffirmed and used since 1966. The principle of the test is to apply drops of standard test oils that have increasing surface tensions onto a fabric and then observe the test liquid's wetting, wicking, and contact angle using a visual grading scale. Basically, using one test liquid at a time, a drop of the lowest numbered test liquid is applied in five locations on the fabric, which has been placed flat on top of standard blotter paper. The drop locations along the width of the fabric specimen are to be at least four centimeters apart to prevent contaminating a test site. The test also prescribes that the end of the dropper be approximately 0.6 centimeters above the fabric surface. After 30 seconds, the test liquid drops are observed to see whether the oil has wetted, penetrated, and wicked on the fabric surface. The visual scale shows drops that are still rounded down to drops that have started to penetrate, and a location where the test liquid has fully penetrated the fabric surface. Here is how the visual scale works. A means the fabric passes. There is a clear, well-rounded drop. B equals a borderline pass. There is a rounded drop with partial darkening. C means the fabric fails. Wicking is apparent and or there is complete wetting. D equals fails there is complete wetting. If three of the five locations do not show wetting, then the next higher test liquid is applied to a fresh fabric specimen in five locations. The sequence is repeated with increasing levels of test liquids until three of the five locations are seen to have penetration into the fabric. The reported result of test method 118 is the oil repellency grade number of the test liquid at which no repellency is observed. This test method is most often used by chemical suppliers, fabric finishers, and research and development laboratories to judge the repellency success of their products. This is a topic that is far removed from consumers' realm of interest, so you will likely never find an apparel retailer, brand, or sourcing company that will have a performance requirement for oil repellency. However, being able to figure out whether or not a fiber, fabric, or finish stained by an oily soil medium can be removed in laundering is a desirable attribute that a consumer can see.